What is going on my mate? Streaming Neutron's mom coming at you for mate vlog number 16. Hope everyone has been doing very well. We just passed a thousand subscribers, so thank you so much. Gotta be kidding me right now. The gas station is absolutely packed. Not a single pump available. All right, finally got me a little pump. Now I can go get some gas. Alrighty, we are all gassed up and ready to go for the day. Hope you mates are having an outstanding Friday so far. Make sure it's safe, make sure it's fun, make sure you hang out with some freaking mates. The new story so far album got out onto the internet um, and I definitely didn't download it. And I'm not saying that you should, I'm not recommending it. I'm saying don't. What I'm saying is go support them, buy the vinyl, buy the merch, go support their album, go buy it, whatever. However, even though I didn't download it, I'm still gonna kind of talk about some of the tracks on the album as if I had listened into it you know what i'm saying so that's kind of gonna be what we're doing today again go support them go buy the album comes out next friday literally a week from now so go support the story so far they're great i want to start off first by saying it has been three years and three months since the story so far has released any new music so i know that i'm very excited for this album I know that you mates are very excited for this album and I have to say I only have positive things to say about it. I thought it was absolutely outstanding. Their self-titled was not my favorite at all. Well, it did have some good tracks and I don't think it's the worst thing ever, of course. This album definitely tops it and out of all their albums ranked, I would put self-titled at the bottom. I know I may get some flack for that. I know, I already have. <laughs> have on Instagram before. So just really, really quick, I'm putting the pre-order bundle, link, vinyl, whatever, down below. So go pre-order it, go support this band. Once again, they're freaking awesome. I love them. This video is more to promote than anything. So so go ahead and pre-order. The thing that had me really, really, really excited upon my first listen to this album was the, the diversity between the tracks. So I say there are three different types of tracks on this album based on what my ears have heard and based on how I perceive the tracks to be. So there's a fine amount of tracks that are kind of like clear and then there are a good amount of tracks that are kind of like their song placeholder from <laughs> from under soil and dirt to where it's like it's kind of acoustic but it's like kind of still full band i don't even know that was like the worst way to describe it but kind of like placeholder and then there are songs just like swords and pens and quicksand so i feel like there's a really good mix of like high energy angry and then kind of like medium as well as just kind of like toned down and chill and i think i think they did a very 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 good job of balancing it because i can tell that they're trying to they're trying to be a little bit more mature with this album you can tell that they're really really trying to grow as a band parker's lyrics are super duper interesting like on upside down they're just <laughs> they're just like really really sad but on some of them it's like it's kind of forgiving and like kind of coming to the realization that everything is going to be okay and that the things do get better and to forgive and forget it's not exactly a secret that parker cannon has been struggling with some substance abuse issues according to his song out of it where he talks about sipping lean and drinking codeine cough syrup and just opiates in general and i feel like this whole album to some extent is a concept album and a lot of the times i kind of cringe when i hear the word concept album but to me it sounds kind Kind of like chronicling his journey throughout that time from then until now kind of like the beginning all the way to the end i feel like in a lot of ways this is a coming of age album in the sense that parker is growing up a little bit he <laughs> He's doing a bunch of drugs and through that he's learning a lot of different things about himself, forgiving others, kind of coming to terms with things and understanding himself a little bit more. So I feel like a running theme throughout this album is just growth and moving on and forgiveness and I think that's really really cool because a lot of bands are very very negative and aggressive and angry which i absolutely love and there's some of that on this album but it's really really cool to just just see that from the story so far and i could be completely wrong and that is not what this album is at all but but that was my perception of what is going on here and then you have songs that are a little bit in between kind of like let it go to where it's like it's not super acoustic but it's like so it's like kind of like one of those medium songs and throughout the album i feel like it's like 33 33 33 so there are songs that are really you know hype like out of it and then there are some medium ones kind of kind of like let it go and then there are a good amount of songs that are like upside down to where it's a little bit more chilled out they made this album really really diverse and they balanced out the three types of songs that that i perceive to be on this album Overall, upon my first few listens of this album, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was an outstanding album. You should go pre-order it below. Once again, I have not downloaded it and listened to it. Just go support them and buy the album. I will not be giving a rating today because I feel like I still have to let it sink in more and just kind of digest what's going on. But thank you mates so much for watching this video. Have a safe, fun Friday. Do stuff that's fun. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. We just passed a thousand subs, my mates. Thank you so, so much. Mates Club forever. I'll see you mates.